G'day, it's Ralph Mayhew here from Video Prop Converter, and today we're going to convert an MP4 file into a GIF or GIF file format. Now, you'll be familiar with GIFs commonly used in memes to convey humor or emotion through a video that's represented in a series of consecutive images. GIF stands for Graphics Interchange Format, and today we're going to create a GIF from a very short video that I have. In fact, this is what a GIF looks like as part of the video, just for your reference and entertainment. If you like what we do here, please subscribe for more content and don't forget to ring the bell to be notified when the next video comes out. We'd love to meet your needs through that. So let's jump into the process, shall we? We start on our opening video prop converter menu. We click on video, we drag our file in. Once it's uploaded, we scan all the way down along this menu to toolbox, select toolbox, and then we select along our options here and we find GIF, we select that and double click. That gives us this information panel with me there. So we'll pause that because it's just distracting and I can choose what time I start in the video. And as you'll see, as I move that along, I might want to start here. We're going to do the whole thing. So I can equally just move them manually or select the time here. Up here, I can choose how long my GIF loops for. So does it keep on going or does it loop for one second, two, five, 10 or 30? I'm gonna select forever so I drive everybody crazy. Now we go to image size. I like to choose the highest resolution because you do lose resolution when a photo is drawn from a video. Uh, at 4K, you're looking at about eight megapixels. So the higher your resolution, the better quality GIF you'll get. The duration is how long the video is. So if I select five, it's going to take the first five seconds and forget about these three. So I'm going to select eight and then I want to determine how often a photo is taken at this interval. So at the moment it's half a second. I can go up to a full second. I can go as low as point well, really 01. I'm going to keep it on 0.5 because I think I'm animated at about half a second ratio for our needs today. And that will deliver us 16 to 17 final images that are part of our GIF because it's half a second. So every second is two images, goes for eight seconds, 16 plus 17. Because when you're creating a GIF, it likes to give you a start point and an end point. We simply go done. And over here, we make sure use high quality engine is selected. Make sure our output put folder is accurate and then we go run and as you'll see it's exported to here and what I need to do now is see if it works and the best way to see if it works is drag it into your internet browser and I'm going to use Safari and it's going to pop up right there and that's me doing my thing so let's compare that to where we started now this is the part of the video that we use so you have it for your reference in fact, this is what a GIF looks like as part of the video, just for your reference and entertainment. And this is what the GIF looks like, and I'll put the audio behind it so you can relate to it, but usually a GIF doesn't have any audio associated with it. In fact, this is what a GIF looks like as part of the video, just for your reference and entertainment. So it's perfect for those little projects when you want to communicate a video you have through a set of images that capture the essence of that video. If you have any questions, we'd love to answer them in the comments down below and would love it if you could subscribe and like this video. That would mean a lot to us and really help. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.